It appears that Shaka Smart is coming to coach the Longhorns men's basketball team. And sports director Roger Wallace is following all of the latest developments tonight. It has been a busy day and the target has been Richmond, Virginia and looks like they've landed their man. Search is over. Officials at West at Virginia Commonwealth University, A.D. Ed McLaughlin saying tonight that quote Shaka Smart is leaving. He said other than that they will not have comment out of respect for the University of Texas. That means Smart will become UT's 24th head men's basketball coach. He's coming to Austin after six years as head coach at VCU and five days shy of his 38th birthday. It all started with athletic director Steve Patterson landing in Richmond this afternoon for a face-to-face -face meeting for his top coaching target. While Patterson and Shaka Smart were meeting, the fans in Richmond were doing their best to try to keep their, keep their coach to stay after six years, five NCAA tournaments, and of course a Final Four. Then emerging tonight, news that they had a short team meeting. Shaka Smart left the meeting, did not have a comment, and now we hear from Virginia Commonwealth that out of respect for Texas, they're not commenting other than to say that Shaka Smart's leaving no official word uh, from Texas at this point. Smart's overall record in six years, 163 and 56. For a deeper look at what Coach Smart could look like at Texas, our Brent Carney spoke with one coach who used to have to recruit against Shaka Smart. Before he was leading the Austin Spurs, Ken McDonald coached in college and has witnessed the ascension of Shaka Smart. Shaka's, you know, been nothing but uh, an all-star since he got into business. And in fact, he knew all about Smart before he became a head coach at VCU. McDonald played at Providence. So did Billy Donovan, who Smart coached under as an assistant at Florida. I've watched him, you know, come up in the business and always been impressed. I know friends that have worked with him. Um, that that obviously have always had great things to say about him. Now for Smart, it's a big job, and with it, Texas-sized expectations. And that's a good thing, but that also comes with some pressure. You know, Shaka obviously is going to have to establish his system, his recruiting base, and um, continue to build the program that he wants to build. Brent Carney, KXAN News. So Roger, fair to say that Shaka Smart and Rick Barnes have different coaching styles. So what impact is Smart going to have on the coaching style at UT? The word around Shaka Smart's program is havoc. They play <laughs> okay. 40 minutes up and down, 94 feet, a lot of pressing. Now yeah. some say maybe he doesn't have to coach like that at Texas. Probably gets a little bit better talent. They may not be ready to play like that. But I think talent will adjust to Shaka Smart just as much as he adjusts to talent. We talked about recruiting. He has a recruit from San Antonio. He signed to play at Virginia Commonwealth, oh. but he already has made some inroads here. Of course, he knows Charlie Strong. He knows assistant coach Rob Lanier, a chance he could join his staff. They coach together at the University of Florida. And UT would love to sell some seats at the Irwin Center. Talked about that havoc. A yeah. little more coming up in sports. I've got some visuals that kind of prove what he's all about. All right, and we'll look forward to hearing from him personally, too. This will only be Smart's second college head coaching job. He's only 37 years old, Roger mentioned. He's held assistant coaching jobs at California University of Pennsylvania, Akron, Clemson and Florida and as a head coach he has compiled 163 wins and 56 losses at VCU and in his relatively short time at VCU he led the Rams to the final four in 2011. He has a wife Maya and a now three-year-old daughter Zora Sine.